This week on OTL is Fan Week. Connor, Ricky, and Kean seem to be world tanking it. Wishbone makes a special appearance in almost everyone's video. Join me this week as the sheep hits the fan. It doesn't get more profound than that, bro. Hey, what's up, O2L? It's Connor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Ricky on O2L. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Sam. What's up, O2L? Casey's here. Hello, O2L. It is Trevor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Kian. I'm Elijah. You've been awesome. Connor reads us some interesting fan fiction, Ricky prank calls his fans, Sam answers questions from fans, JC lets the fans decide, Trevor shows us some of his gifts from fans, and Kian gives us his top five fan experiences. Not much to say about what Connor read as far as fan fiction, but that some people seem to really extremely admire him. I want to rape you. <laughs> what? interesting that people actually write these things. I guess in a way me doing these videos is kind of similar. I mean, I'm pretending that I'm in the channel. What have I done with my life? Ricky got a hold of some numbers of some fans and decided to call them. I do kind of wonder what it was like for that first caller though. If you guess who this is, you were win a free car! Really? Nope. What would have happened if she had guessed it? That would have been kind of funny and kind of awkward. If you guess who this is, you were win a free car! Uh, is this Ricky Dillon from O2L? Hello. Really cool thing about this week's video is that they get to share some really awesome moments with their fans, and it is amazing how something like a phone call from Ricky can make someone's day so much better. It's actually a really good thing. <laughs> Sam gives us some answers about his fashion, features, and preferences with some Occasional philosophy. You have one life to live, and you should live it the way it chooses you. My quote, like my motto pretty much, is everything happens for a reason, so why change it when it was a reason that it happened? The profoundness of that statement has made me crap myself. He expresses the closeness and the family type relationship that this collab channel has. And given the fact that they're all slowly moving in with each other, I would say this is accurate. But actually, it is really good chemistry they have as a group. Who takes for life, bro? And profound in JC invents a new gang symbol and then basically does some fan dares, shoving peanut butter into his mouth and then looking like a Crest commercial. How does he do it? Then he does a dare that kind of shows me a lot of things. One, he must not be that tall. Either that or Connor is huge. Two, he might need to work out, just judging by the very strained and flushed looking facial expression plus the strain in his voice. And EQ! And three. This looks like a Crest commercial holding a Crest commercial. This video is funny and interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Trevor's got a bracelet with his initials on it, as well as all kinds of neat collage stuff and a really cool picture of all the collabors. And interestingly enough, JC there in the middle looks like the Beebs. And then continues to end his video by doing a following spree on Twitter. You know, what is the point of Twitter? Seriously. I tried it and I didn't get the point. I think I'm just way too simple to understand it, so maybe you guys can help me out with that one. Kian's video has a lot going on. He's attempting to talk about his top five fan experiences while Ricky, JC, and Connor are in the background messing with his chair, his head, his neck, his back, everything that they could possibly do. And then he goes on to share his experiences about some of his meet and greets that he's been involved with. Some pretty awesome stuff. You wanna know a problem that most guys will never have? This one. There was literally like 20 girls running after our car. That sounds rough, bro. Well, that was this week's videos in a nutshell. I've been Elijah, you've been awesome, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. It is awesome to be able to entertain you guys. And since this is fan week, I figure I should talk a little bit about my fans as well. I have some of the most amazing fans. Two of them have made videos for me. I'll show you a little bit, brief snippet of one of them. Elijah, you are so cool. Yes, you are. And we love you, so we're just saying that. All right. Fan. 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 Two fans. All of you who have commented on my videos so far, I'm gonna put you in my channel box for a while so you guys can just have some free advertisement. Shout out to you new subscribers too. You guys are so awesome. I've gotten to talk with so many of you really cool people. One of you designs these cats. Others do their own YouTube things. Some of you are just plain awesome.
doesn't get more profound than that, bro. I wish this was you. Unless you're a dude, then this would just be offensive, and I'm sorry. How many dudes do I have watching anyways? If you're a dude, leave me a comment and be like, bro! See you guys next week, next review, same time, same day. Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the camera.